Hey pals, how's it going? I'm back here with another uh, quick song review. I'm going to do Tyler the Creator uh, She, featuring Frank Ocean off his 2011 album Goblin. I know it's an older song, but uh, before I work up to his newer stuff, I wanted to go back and listen to older stuff again. I haven't listened to a Tyler song in a video since uh, Yonkers, which was like two years ago now. Jeez. But um, yeah, I enjoyed it after looking at the lyrics. It was um, uh, actually humorous. Um, I was kind of preoccupied in, uh, with the actual music video during the reaction. Uh, but yeah, after looking at the lyrics, I actually really liked it. Um, so I wanted to go back and uh, see what other songs would be good from his older stuff. Yeah, this would also be the first song I've sat down and listened to with Frank Ocean on it or just singing in general. So yeah, let's, I'll get back to you with my thoughts in a second. Alright, so uh, this song has, of course, his trademark, you know, low uh, pitch style of rapping. He must really like Adventure Time because this song also has another reference to that, just like Yonkers. Yeah, but what I thought was interesting is uh, mixing the um, kind of uh, horrific elements with this lust-filled song. Uh, it's, it's kind of paradoxical. The, some of the lines were like, he says he just wants to, you know, go on a date, and then he says the C word after that, like at the end of the line. So it's kind of this, this paradox of like the lust and hate. Uh, I forgot that he also uh, uses alter egos when he raps, so it could just be that, you know, extreme of good and bad when it comes to like passionate emotions. Because there could be there could be a a good Tyler and Wolf the bad one you know I don't know I also didn't realize that at first it was actually Frank Ocean singing the I mean rapping the first verse yeah the beat was pretty unintrusive it allowed room for the rapping and without uh, distracting taking away from from the story or the the lyrics I guess I also liked some of the subtle delay on um, on some of the words yeah I just really liked the idea of uh, juxtaposing those horror or violent uh, kind of ideas with a very sexual and, um, yeah, lust-filled song. Um, but I don't know if I was completely behind it. I thought it was interesting. I would give this one probably like a 3.5. Yeah, it was just interesting because a lot of horror uh, movies are very, um, or like movie monsters are very sexual. Like, look at Alien. That's, that's kind of weird how it like attaches to your face and um yeah it bursts out of you it's the the thing that comes out of its mouth um or like dracula or so yeah it's just interesting that relationship between horror and um uh uh and lust basically i didn't watch the video by the way i was just looking at the lyrics while listening to it um but yeah what do you guys, th guys think of this song am i missing something I don't know. I liked the, what he was trying to do, but I just it was just kind of eh by the end. I think I think he could have explored it deeper. So there we go. That's that's what I got for Tyler the Creator. She. I'll see you guys in the next video. Give me some songs to uh, review. All right. Cheers.